What are you waiting for? Let the system handle it. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. If you've been around me for very long, you know how much I believe in the power of the to-do list, preferably a digital one. Life gets easier when you learn to throw things on the list as soon as they occur to you. No more forgetting. But often, we're impacted by the things other people should be doing. Here's some examples. First, you're working on a project with others and have delegated certain tasks to them. How do you make sure everyone comes through with what they're supposed to do? Here's another one. Someone borrows books, your lawnmower, or anything else that belongs to you. How do you keep up with what you've loaned to whom? What sort of trigger will cause you to mention something when an item is not returned? Or third, you've placed an order with a company. How do you keep up with what you've ordered and from whom you've ordered it? At what point would you call to ask about the status of an order? And what's the trigger that would cause you to make that call? As long as we live in a world where our happiness, success, longevity, or whatever else is in part dependent on other people, we need to have some system that will allow us to follow up. Here's how this started for me. At the start of my career, my organizational tools consisted of a memo pad and my tickler file. When someone borrowed something from me, I immediately made a note in that memo pad, something like, expect to receive XYZ book from Steve loaned on October 3rd. After asking myself when I wanted to see the reminder, I would drop the little slip of paper into the appropriate tickler file, the tickler file for that date. Okay, I place an order with a company. I'd like to make a copy of that order and write, expect to receive on the top of the form and ask myself when I should expect that order to arrive and throw the form into the tickler file for around that date. Or when someone was supposed to handle a task and then get back to me, a little note saying something like, expect to receive reply from John, went into the tickler file for the date I wanted to see that little note and be ready to follow up. Well, over time, expect to receive became ETR. And though the tools have changed, that acronym stuck. And when I moved to a digital task list in 2001, I would simply include the letters ETR at the start of any task where I was expecting to receive something from someone else. I would include the task, the name of the person, uh, what it was that I was waiting on, and I would put a due date, you know, the date that I want to see this again so that I can follow up. And so that way, nothing ever fell through the cracks. I earned the right to forget about it on the appropriate day. There it was. If the person had already handled it, I could check it off. It's done. If not, I could follow up. So what if I want to see at a glance all the things that I'm expecting from other people? On my digital to-do list, I search for ETR. The result is a complete list of everything I'm expecting from everybody else. So now enter the ETR tag. For a long time, I used keywords in the task name to provide context. I would add the word call to any task that involved a phone call or errand into any task that involved getting in the car. Then I would simply enter the keyword into the search window and that worked. There were all the phone calls or there were all the errands. Now I use tags. I've created an ETR tag and I attach it to any task where I'm expecting to receive something from someone else. So when I wanna see all of those ETRs, all of those things that other people owe me, I just simply click on the ETR tag in the sidebar and there's my list. Now, here's a pro tip. In Remember the Milk, after clicking on that ETR tag for the first time, I go up to that cog at the top of the, tech, of the task list. It's right beside where you see the incomplete and completed labels. And I choose to sort by due date. So that way, 
I see the ETR items that are overdue or due now at the top of the list and the ETR items for the future at the bottom. So I've got some chronology there and I'm not worried about those things that I'm expecting to receive in a month, but I do want to follow up on the things that are uh, due now or that are maybe overdue. So the need grows greater as our careers advance. The further we advance in our chosen professions, the more our success depends on getting work done through other people. Yes, training is important so that people can come through without follow-up. And yes, having confidence in those with whom we interact is important. However, people do drop the ball. And when that happens, the consequences are often felt far up the chain of command. When we delegate, it takes only a second to decide when we should expect the completion of the task and make the appropriate entry on the digital to-do list. That simple habit provides peace of mind. You develop the reputation of being someone who follows up. Throw it on the task list, tag it, ETR, or put ETR simply somewhere in the task so that you can search for it later. Relying on our memories for all of the responsibilities doesn't work, even when they're our responsibilities. But now when we're trying to add to that, remembering all the things that we're expecting other people to do makes things a whole lot more complex. It's just a recipe for disaster. Our lives are complex enough as it is and that complexity requires simple systems. So what are you waiting on from other people? Take a few minutes to identify those tasks, put them on your list, and assign due dates to prompt you to follow up. It's too simple not to do. Now, in this episode, I did mention using tags in Remember the Milk. In a previous video, I demonstrated exactly what I do uh, I'm going to give you that link again in the show notes uh, for this video if you're looking at it on YouTube, and it'll be in the body of the blog post if you're watching it over there. I hope you enjoy it. hope it makes a difference for you. And if you do enjoy it, I bet you'll also enjoy these two videos right over here. Take a look at them and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. Thanks for stopping by today. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.